Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Sheena. You can find me um, on Instagram at Big Reds Boutique. And you can also find me on Poshmark at Big Reds Boutique. So what am I doing here? I am um, starting a YouTube channel because it's something I've thought about doing for quite some time. I love watching YouTube videos myself. Um, I am a part-time reseller, so I resell clothing online. I buy stuff from thrift stores, yard sales, estate sales, and then I resell it online um, on sites like Poshmark, Mercari, eBay, um, even on Facebook Marketplace. And so this channel is basically just going to be about my journey as um, a small business owner, as a mom, as a part-time reseller. So if that's something you are interested in following along with, please just give me a like and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to try to do videos for you once a week. Okay, so let's get down to what you're here for and that is a thrift store haul. Um, just recently my Salvation Army had a $2 sale where all clothing was $2. It didn't matter what color the tag was, um, nothing. It was all $2. So that was pretty cool. I got in line. I um, brought my shopping buddy and we were in there for about three hours. I have a haul of at least 40 items for you. Um, that I will try to go through and tell you why I picked it up, what I might sell it for, um, and show you the brand so, tag. I did only buy two pairs of shoes since the sale was for clothing and not shoes. I did buy these men's Camuto booties. Um, they're just a classic style with the braided detail. There is the brand there. They are also my size. So we'll see. They're just a nice low heel leather booty. And then I bought a pair of Nikes for my daughter. So that is one of the perks of this business is you can get cute cheap items for yourself and for your family. All right, but let's get into the clothing. Okay. I've got like two huge bins right beside me. So you will probably see me reaching a little bit. Um, these are first off Fashion Nova. Brand new with tags, so that kind of um, swayed my decision in getting these, but they're a super cute camouflage jogger style um, windbreaker pant. They've got the zipper at the hems. Fashion Nova is not something that I would normally pick up, but it does bring a lot of traffic to my closet, I notice, even though it doesn't sell for a lot. Um, it's just a super trendy brand that people know and they're gonna look for. So that'll probably be around a 20 to $25 sale. Again, these are just American Eagle, but they are the high rise jegging, which usually does pretty well. They're in a camo print. As you can tell, I love camo. So I'm obviously drawn to things that I like. These are a size 12 long in nice condition and a good size. So these will probably be another $20 sale. These were a great find and I kind of couldn't believe that I found them because they were just sitting on the end rack like somebody had put them back. Um, they are new with tags, Lululemon crop pants. The tag is a little munched here, <laughs> but I don't care. Most people probably won't. They are, this is the style of the rip tag in them. They are a size four wide leg um, tie pants. These are Chico's. Um, again, not a brand they would normally buy, but for $2, they are a larger size, a nice black girlfriend style jean with these little stud details at the hem. So I liked that. I have sold um, similar pairs before. They'll probably sell on eBay, probably for around like $29.99 is probably what I'll price them at. We have Fabletics leggings. They are my favorite dark green color with a sheer panel. They are crops. And they are a more popular style of their leggings. The power hold, um, I believe are their more popular style and they have the side pockets. So they had a lot going for them. Okay, these um, are an awesome find. They are by this brand, Freddy WR Up. These are a camo pair of skinny pants. But what is um, awesome about these is the shape of their pockets. So this brand is known for like giving you a bigger booty or making it look like you have the illusion of a bigger booty. So here's the label that will usually be on the pocket of them. 
uh, but these sell really well for me. Some pairs can be like in the $75 range. This is probably what I will list these cool camo pair at. Here is that little logo to look for right there. And then they also usually have this like elastic sticky waistband. Um, I've sold these in the past and they've always gotten a ton of attention when I do list them. These I will probably list in the $75 range too, just because the faux leather look ones seem to go for more. I found a ton of those, by the way. These are American Eagle Tom Girl jeans, super distressed and shredded. They have the butt and fly. This is a little bit more popular style of um, American Eagle jeans. They're size six. Nice and soft, super soft. Probably only like 18 to $20 on those though. This is Eileen Fisher. They are 100% linen, so they need a good steam. They're super wrinkly. They're just basic linen pants, but they are a good size. They're extra large um, with pockets and summer is coming. So I definitely took the seasonality into account when I was shopping and um, I'm starting to prepare my closet for spring and summer. Absolutely. This um, just kind of spoke to me. I liked the tie dye on it. Tie dye has been very on trend for a while now. I don't know this brand. It's, um, I'm assuming green apple. It felt like nice quality and um, just a nice like casual athleisure type of thing that you would just throw on right now while we're in quarantine. <clears throat> I'm in Las Vegas, Nevada, by the way. If you want to leave me a comment and let me know where you are in the country, I would love to know. These are Levi's. Great find. High rise skinny, size 30. These are my size. Distressed. And they have the um, raw chewed hem. These were a great find. I will probably sell these for around $40 to $45. Another new with tags item. These are Joe Fit, which I believe is like an athletic or golf brand. Plus size, brand new black Bermuda shorts. People are going to go golfing soon. I like to golf. Does anybody else like to golf? The price tag said $65.99, so they weren't super cheap brand new. I'll probably list those for around $25. All right, we've got Torrid. But this is a collaboration or Torrid for Rebel Wilson. Um, is that that funny girl? I don't know who that is. <laughs> but it's a pretty blue lace fit and flare dress, midi dress. Um, I'm thinking about Easter. I'm thinking about spring and summer weddings. Those are the things that are coming up soon that people will be shopping for. Okay. What are you? Oh, this is cute. This is like a windbreaker style, um, pretty bright pink. It says hustle, it's hooded. It's got some like checkerboard styling down the sleeve. Super 90s streetwear. Reminds me of something I might have worn when I was younger. The brand is Stella Tweed. I don't really know that brand. That wasn't really important for this. This was just based off of style. I'll probably list it for 20 to $25. That would be super cute with like some jeans, some Nikes, some Air Forces. Here's another pair of the Freddy WR Up pants. These are probably the best ones because they're that faux leather with the croc embossed look. Zipper front. These are some sexy hot pants. Oh my goodness. Super cute. There's that emblem again. So I'll probably be listing those for 75 as well. Here we have just American Eagle again. I've actually um, sold this exact sweater before. It's a nice chunky knit, oversized, grandpa style cardigan, lots of keywords, um, oatmeal color. I think I sold this for 25 before, so I will probably aim to do 20 to 25 again on that one. This is just a sort of denim acid washed looked hoodie with this toggle in the front. I thought that was kind of cool. It's a men's piece. So I do sell men's and women's, mostly women's, but um, this could be my husband's. I don't know this brand. It's called Silver Lake. 
it is new with tags, or I will list it for $25. That is kind of the magic price around here. Okay, we've got another pair of Levi's. These are just the 7-Eleven skinny jeans. So they're not super high waisted. They've got a little bit of distressing, but they are a good mid-rise and they're plus size. So they're size 32, um, which I love to have plus size items in my closet. And everybody needs a good black skinny jean. I gotta start reaching lower because my bin is getting um, more empty. <laughs> These are Judy Blue. I have heard of this. I've never really seen them before, but they are brand new with the tags and they were a great style. So they've got the button fly, they're distressed, high-waisted, and they have the chewed hem. So they had a lot going for them. Just thought they were really cute and brand new with tags. I'm pretty sure these retail for a decent amount. I'm pretty sure they're around $100. So I might price these around 45, I don't know, I'm gonna have to do some research on what those resell for. Okay, I've got two more pairs of the Freddy pants and they look basically identical. They're like more of a jean style, acid wash, kind of a gray color. These look smaller than the other ones too. Um, so these might be a little bit less than the other ones. I'm thinking maybe $45 on these. Move these over here. Okay, we've got Victoria's Secret Sport. These are just the knockout crop leggings um, in a really pretty purple color. They've got the sheer panels. Um, I don't always pick up Victoria's Secret stuff, but when it's cheap and it's um, a good style, these knockout pants, people love them. They'll be an easy 20 bucks. Another pair of the Freddy pants. These are like a dark purple color again, just skinny jeans. So colored denim doesn't always do as well. Those might be in the more like the 45 range on those ones. Oh, I was excited to find this. I don't think I've ever found Beta brand. Um, these are a great work uh, career style pants. Beta brand. I was so excited to find this. I don't think I've found Beta brand before. Um, these are a great work career style trouser, but they're super stretchy. People love these. Since I've never found it before, I'm actually not sure what they go for. Um, again, I might estimate like the $40 to $50 range on these. I think they're pretty expensive, brand new. But again, these are estimates. I really don't know until I do some research and when I go to list these items, um, those sale prices could definitely change. This is a little camo romper super soft super cute again i love camo the brand i don't know what it is i just mostly got this for style another pair of the freddy pants these are like a maroon burgundy these feel more like legging career styles but they have that zip up front so that's kind of cute so these might oh they have they look like they have that bunched up seam you know, the Amazon leggings that are supposed to make your butt look really good? That kind of looks like it's got that going on right there. So maybe $45 on those ones as well. Here is another brand that I had never found before. I believe this is sold on Revolve. I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong. I am not, I'm no expert. This is Tiger Mist. These are super cute. White jogger pants with these mesh panels, some zipper details. They're um, elasticized at the bottom. Super cute. People are going to start wearing white pants again now that it's turning to spring and summer. These are probably going in my closet. Um, these are just some tie-dye joggers. They're super soft. They have pockets. This is the brand Show Show. I'm not sure where that's sold at. Um, they are new with tags too, which was cool. But yeah, those are probably staying with me. Okay, these are, let's do the button here. These are just some little summery shell print shorts from Level 99, which is sometimes sold at Anthropology. And Anthropology is not something you should always be picking up anymore, but I just felt like with spring and summer coming, people might go be going on vacations, trying to get away from the chaos of the world. And that just reminded me of something you would wanna take on vacation. 
It's by Rebecca Taylor, which obviously this dress probably retailed for hundreds of dollars, maybe 500. Um, the resale value, unfortunately, on Rebecca Taylor is not great, but this dress is just too pretty to leave at the thrift store. Um, it's a size 12 too. Perfect for Valentine's Day. I wonder if it'll fit me. I don't know, but I definitely had to grab that for $2. Another pair of Victoria's Secret leggings. I believe these are, um, yep, knockout, knockout leggings. Again, these ones I think are more full length and a fun little print. Again, people like this particular style. These are a bigger size too. Um, so a $20 sale. Okay, we have Bowden. Just a classic little cute boxy, um, chambray style shirt perfect for spring and summer i think it's 100 percent linen so fabric content definitely um helps me make my decision on if i'm buying something or not things that are 100 percent linen that are 100 percent wool um real leather i'm willing to buy versus you know the faux the faux stuff this is actually a vintage coat um i don't know i just liked it <laughs> it's that I think it's reversible. It's, I believe, a faux suede with this fuzzy, like, on the cuff and the collar. And then, oh, it's so soft on the inside. But I think you can reverse it and kind of wear it like a teddy coat, too. Let's see. Because the tag is on the pocket. So that's what makes me believe that it's reversible. Oh, yeah. And that's super, I feel like, on trend. Cute. So, I don't know. I'll probably list that around... 40 bucks. We'll start there. I'm definitely somebody that like starts high just to see what's happened when I'm price or what's going to happen when I price my items. And if I don't get any, any attention at the higher price, then I can always lower it, but you can't, you can't really raise your prices. So why not go for it and see how it does? Okay. I can't get this together, but this is a wrap dress. So the string needs to go through here. And it is by Society Amuse, which again, I think is sold at Revolve. Um, it doesn't always resell for a lot, but I felt like this one had a lot going for it because I did look up comps in the store and was like, oh, maybe I shouldn't get this. But it's got kind of these like puffy ruched sleeves. It's a wrap dress, which I feel like has been on trend for a while. It's got the ruffles around the neckline. I know I'm not doing it justice by holding it like this. But um, it's a super cute little spring print. So that might be like something I priced at $30 or so. These might be for me. They're just Target, brand new with tags, high-waisted denim shorts. <clears throat> this is French Connection. Just a classic black double-breasted peace style coat. Um, I believe it is again like mostly wool so that's kind of what made me want to buy this it's just a classic piece it might be something I want to keep too because I don't have like a good black jacket let's see what do you think if it's me maybe I'll just keep this I don't think that French connection is going to resell for a lot um, but it's also really nice quality and I just couldn't leave it behind so maybe I'll keep it if you think I should keep it, leave me a comment down below. Okay, we've got Nike running shorts with the built-in um, spandex shorts. So I feel like that style does pretty well. And it's a nice classic black. They are a size, size medium. These could be men's. They might be. I'm not sure. Okay, guys, thanks for hanging in there with me. We're getting to the bottom. We're almost to the end. Um, these pants were just so amazing. I don't know why I could not leave these behind. Snake skin, super wide leg. I believe they're cropped with a tie belt. It's a little loose right now. It's by this brand, um, Nene, Nene Leaks. I'm not sure that this, this brand is anything special really, but the style is what I got these for. I thought they were just so fun. Lane Bryant, 
So I found some good plus size items. I love to pick up plus size items. Um, this is a super cute spring and summer dress. It has this like off the shoulder eyelet lace detail, this very pretty pink with the crisscross in the front. It is sort of a midi length with the eyelet um, trim on the bottom too. And it's a size 14, 16. So I'll probably list that around $30. This one is Land's End. Just a classic, one of their quilted, like barn style jackets, but in this really pretty floral print. Um, L.L. Bean makes quality items. And I thought this was nice for two bucks. It is a size small. So obviously the price definitely um, swayed my decision on a lot of these purchases. If some of these items would have been more expensive, I would have passed on them. But for two bucks, um, you can't go wrong with a lot of these. This is um, Kalia by Carrie Underwood. Her items usually do pretty well for me. They're just a pair of athletic shorts with, again, the built-in leggings underneath. They're a bigger size too, they're a size large. So probably 25 to 30, $30 on those. And we're to the last item, and I think this is something I actually got for myself, um, but I'll show you nonetheless. My favorite color is this dark green, and this is a little kimono, floral kimono um, by Angie. So this is something I could resell later. What's so awesome about this job is you can buy stuff for yourself, wear it a few times, and then resell it. Super cute. I love this. Anyways, that is my haul. I'm super excited about the items that I found. I've got a lot of work to do. Now, um, my definitely, my favorite finds were those, all of those Freddy pants. I can't believe that I found so many of them. Um, just a couple pairs are probably gonna pay for this whole haul. And then the rest is gonna be profit, which is awesome. Okay, that's it for this haul video. Thank you so much if you stuck around through the whole thing. Um, I hope that I will get better at this. I really don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you want to um, get notifications next time I make another video. And then you can follow me on Instagram. I am at Big Reds Boutique. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye.